So now we'll discuss about uh, another important concept, which is the rectangular components of a vector. So we have discussed about the resolution of vector in a plane. Now we'll discuss about rectangular components of a vector. So basically uh, it is the resolving or splitting of the vector or the resolution of the vector into two components which are at right angles to each other basically along the x and y axis when we are talking about uh, the 2D approach and when we extend it to three dimensional approach along the x, y and z axis. So basically uh, what it says is that suppose we have x and y axis and here let's say we have this vector let's call it a vector. So basically what it is is that we have to split it into two parts into two components one which is along the x axis and one which is along the y axis ok. So one along the x axis that is called as the x component and y uh, the one along the y axis that is called as the y component. So in some places you will find it like this or like this ax i cap a y j cap where i cap and j cap they are the unit vectors along x and y axis ok. So here let us say this angle here is theta. So a x here is a cos theta and a y here is a sin theta ok a x is a cos theta a y is a sin theta. So the magnitude of a vector ok the magnitude of this vector that is simply root over of the x component whole square plus y component whole square ok that and that is equal to a cos theta whole square plus a sin theta whole square ok and that is equal to a square sin square theta plus cos square theta root over and that is equal to a square root over of a square which is equal to a ok that. Now the direction simply tan theta which is equal to a y by a x because this is a y so this is the same ok this this is a y here and this is a x. So this is the same way as it goes. So simply tan theta which is the direction is a y by a x or theta is equal to tan inverse of a y by a x ok this. This is the rectangular component of a vector. Now how it comes in handy is that we can use this okay to add vectors using their rectangular components okay we can use this to add vectors using their rectangular components 
So, suppose again let us draw the x and y axis. Okay, we have drawn the x and y axis. Okay, so this here is the x axis, this here is the y axis, let us say, and here we have two vectors. Okay, we have two vectors. Let us say this is a vector and this is b vector. So, here in order to find out the resultant of these two vectors, what we have to do will go the components approach dividing each of these vectors into their individual rectangular components. So, first for the a vector let the x component is ax and the y component let us say the y component is ay. This is Ax and this is Ay, x and y components of A vector. Similarly, the x and y components of B vector also will have to find out. So, let us say the x component of B vector here it is Bx and the y component of B vector is here. here it is b y. So, the total x component here let us call it r x the total x component that is x component of a plus x component of b. Similarly, the total y component resultant y component y component of a plus y component of b. Okay? Now, the resultant vector will simply be like this. The resultant vector r vector will be this, where this is r x, this is r y here. So, this the resultant vector this ok let us use a different ok this is the resultant vector I think it is visible this resultant vector it is the resultant of the x component that is a x plus b x and the y component which is a y plus b y ok. So, this is the resultant the final resultant vector ok let us use a different color ok this this is the resultant vector ok now it is more prominent same thing same concept r vector which is a x plus b x it is x component r x which is a x plus b x and y component is this much. This is the x component total r x the resultant vector and this is the y component. R y this. So, this 
is called as vector addition by rectangular component approach. This. So, here the magnitude of R, okay, the magnitude of R is simply Rx square plus Ry square and the direction tan theta which is Ry by Rx. Okay. So, here this is the angle theta which the resultant makes with the x component of r vector along the x axis. So, theta here is simply tan inverse of r y by r x. So, basically instead of directly uh, you know finding out the resultant, we first resolved the individual vector that is a vector and b vector into their rectangular comp components along the x and y axis. Then we added the x components of both the vectors and the y components of both the vectors and we got rx and ry respectively and then we got the resultant vector from those x and y components which are basically the x and y component of the resultant vector. So, here rx is the x component of r, ry is the y component of r. Okay, so, we got it indirectly. So, in some situations this method is uh, preferable. Again, when we discuss it in detail at that time it will be you know easier to make you understand. Here if I unnecessarily go into that it will create a lot of confusion. So, for now you just understand this concept of vector addition by rectangular components. Okay.